Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations? We are given f of x plus square root of 1 minus x squared equals x multiplied by square root of 1 minus x squared. And we are interested to find f of x. So looking at this, the only differences between this domain and the output is this is plus and here is multiplications. So we're interested to get f of x. And looking at this only, the absolute of x here is always less than or equals 1. And if I try to let this x that we're given here, suppose I let x to be equals cos x and square root of 1 minus x squared equals sine x which shows that we'll be solving this problem using some trigonometric identity. So now we are going to let cos x or let me just say cos theta equals x. So if cos theta equals x, then we are going to choose sine theta to be equals the square root of 1 minus x squared. So after we have chosen these two expressions, then we are going to replace both of them in the given function. So therefore, the first one becomes f of, instead of x, we replace x with cos x, cos theta, plus also sine theta will be replaced by 1 minus x squared. So we have this as sine theta, then everything equals cos theta as we have the product at the other side multiplied by sine theta. Then, so now we are going to make sure we apply another substitution. Here we have cos theta plus sine theta. Suppose I let this one to be t. If t equals cos theta plus sine theta. So, at this stage, we are going to understand something here that for every theta that we have here, 0 will be less than or equals to theta, and theta less than or equals pi. And this is for when we have the real root. So, having a real root, then that is when we are going to have the square root of 1 minus x squared to be equals absolute of sine theta but by choosing the absolute of sine theta so we are going to focus is it going to be positive or negative suppose we have sine theta which is greater than or equals zero then this is only when we have sine theta but if it is less than or equals to zero so we go for the negative for the case of this we focus on sine theta greater than or equals zero so therefore for t as well let's try and understand the domain of this t so since t equals cos theta plus sine theta so therefore we are going to have the domain of it which is going to be equals a member of the square root of square root of 2 comma square root of uh, minus 2 and uh, square root of 2 and why do we have this so this is because when we have absolute of t, so this will be less than or equals to square root of 2. And for this one to be highly effective, so let's try and uh, solve for the value of t first and uh, we explain more details to this. So given that we have t equals cos theta plus sine theta, let's say I take the square of both sides. So by taking the square of both sides, we are going to expand this and we have t squared equals expanding cos theta plus sine squared theta, we are going to get cos squared theta plus sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta multiplied by cos theta. So this is what we are going to have. And for this pattern, if you have cos squared theta plus sine squared theta, this equals 1. That's an identity. And I'm going to leave this like this. Though we have an identity for this as well. 
2 sin theta cos theta it gives us 2 uh, sin 2 theta but i will leave this because we have the product of sin theta and cos theta which we need to get from where we let t equals cos theta plus sin theta so we have t squared equals 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta i want to make sin theta cos theta the subject of the formula by transferring this one to other side we are going to have 2 sin theta cos theta equals t squared minus 1. And dividing both sides by 2, so the result gives us sin theta cos theta equals t squared minus 1 divided by 2. So therefore, where we have f of sin theta plus cos theta, which has been replaced by t, so we are going to have f of t equals, so for sin theta cos theta other side, this gives us t squared minus 1 divided by 2. But I choose the domain of t to be minus 2 is a member of uh, the closed interval minus square root of 2 comma square root of 2. Why do we have this? It's because the absolute of x from the original function is always less than or equals 1. And so, if the theta is real number, then we are going to have, suppose the theta is a real number, we are going to have the value of t here, which uh, is a member of minus 1, comma, the square root of 2. But does this truly the domain of t, if the absolute of x less than or equals 1? Let's try and check for the patterns. And if I let t here, let's say our t is still the same thing as cos theta plus sine theta. Let's say theta here equals to zero. Just to verify this, if theta equals to zero, so this shows that the t here will be equals uh, one because cos of zero is zero and uh, uh, sine of 0 is 0 and cos of 0 equals 1. We are going to have t equals 1. And if I let theta to be equals 90, uh, that is pi divided by 4, then we are going to have uh, our t here to be equals the square root of 2. And this square root of 2 is for when it is at the maximum. So if theta also equals, um, let's say we have pi divided by 2, what we are going to have for t is 1. And again, if theta equals pi, that is 180, we are going to have t equals minus 1. When we start pressing the values. And again, when theta equals 3 pi divided by 4, we are going to have t equals 0. So uh, if you continue like that, so the other values will keep rotating along this. Therefore, we have negative 1 as the minimum and the maximum here is square root of 2. Therefore, the domain of uh, t is the closed interval minus 1 comma square root of 2. So therefore, f of t equals t squared minus 1 divided by 2 is what we are going to get for the given function. So this confirms that f of t equals t squared minus 1 over 2 is the value for f of t. But changing it to x, we are going to have f of x equals x squared minus 1 divided by 2. And this function is a polynomial. So this is how I solve this step by step. If you have any other idea of solving this, you can drop it in the comment box. And see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.